Hello there, it's Mr. Fantastic Sans here. And we are building our um who are we building? Our Grout for Garium, for Macarium, and we're gonna be sculpting it rather than using the clay. Um I've also skipped the beginning where you mix in, you know, you can follow the directions on your particular brand of grout. And um this is a little wooden form that I use, it also serves, you know, to scrape off once this has set. I can use the sides with a metal ruler to scrape the back off so I can keep it nice and sort of square on the top and bottom. Make sure you allow it to, you know, set for the right amount of time or you don't want to have any nasty messes or accidents because it's a little bit annoying. If you follow my route and you put the perspex or the glass in at the bottom so that it's sort of inlaid, just um, try and make sure you get the right thickness and you know you allow it to set because I was a little bit hasty with mine and I've got some sort of um, flake sort of edges now but I'll try and sort of touch them up there hopefully we won't see too much of them but um, as you can see here we're starting with the um, hydration system the water chamber where we're going to sort of um, be able to keep our hands nice and moist this chamber is probably going to be about 5 millimeters, 6 millimeters deep and all on the inside wall of this then where the ants will be it's probably going to be double to maybe a little bit higher than that just to sort of allow them plenty of room you know to make a good decision on you know how how much moisture they'd like for their you know eggs larvae or cocoons so this nest is currently going to be used for my um asius niger colony not only have they got maybe about 20 workers now they've got s about 17 cocoons but like you know over half of them sort of in the last two days have come about so still got a little bit of time yet but so yeah there's only I sort of went for two main chambers with a kind of suspended roof sort of thing you know with like stone pillars and what have you But I used a, um, like is a, I'm trying to think of the word for it, but it's what you use in wood, you know, the screwdriver is just a sharp point, so you could press it in, you know, to mark what you want to, you know, put your screw in, if you want to drill or whatever, you're just using it to mark, and then just a small stubby flat headed screwdriver, which worked quite well. Fits in the palm of the hand, you know, and remove material quite well. This grout I've used in particular is from Wix, if you're from the UK, you know, it's just bog standard grout, nothing, you know, no anti-mold or anything, so nothing that's harmful to the ants. My ants are currently living in the same brand of grout, so we know they're all good there. It's just, it's a pain in the ass at the moment, you have to hydrate it an awful lot. So you go, we can see where we've pretty much got the um, basic upper shape now. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me, but um... I wanted to get quite a lot of depth, you know, so the the, the terrain is just varies because in the current one they've taken quite a lot of dirt from the outworld in there and they've completely blocked it off and left a small hole opening for this house. So hopefully with the way I've done it, this openings aren't too big on this, so they can it takes a little bit of dirt and they can control the airflow how they wish. But one chamber seems like it's going to be better for moisture and stuff. But um. This will take probably about a week and a week and a half to dry fully now before I'll let my ants actually go in there. But um, in the meantime, I'm waiting for my Campanatus Herculinus colony, queen, not colony, it's just a queen on her own to come. So when she comes, I'll be doing a small update video because I've um, got a whole bunch of outworlds that I make into so that they're all ready. Because the two outworlds I made, which I love really well, quite, quite a bit, but I've... Um, I didn't put enough grout, I was running low on grout, so I was a little bit skimpy on the fronts and I've paid the price now because they've lifted slightly, so I need to kick the ants out of them and um, attach the grout down a bit. So, but the other thing for my outworlds, which um, you might see and I will put in a little outworld video, is the extra space on my form. I chucked all the excess grout I had in there and I broke that up and used it to carve fake rocks and stuff for my outworld then so I could control size and all that about them but yeah so this was you know pretty straightforward nothing special um i drilled a hole for the pipe to go in now and um i cut some serrated triangles into the pipe so i could turn it and it would you know make its way in quite easy 
and ma uh, make its own way, you know, so that the new pipe slots in there, and I can just slot my other pipe over the top of that, and hey presto. You can, you don't have to put your pair specs into the bottom like I did either, you can put your pair specs on top, my other one's exactly the same. You know, you can see the flaking just on the edges there, but um, I quite like it, it's quite big, it's heavy, but I, I like the heaviness, you can't just accidentally knock it out, I'm hoping. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, or you, you're looking forward to sort of keeping up with the ants, please like, you know, this video and subscribe for more. I've also got another channel if you're into gaming and other random stuff. But yeah, thank you for watching. This is Mr. Fantastic. I'm out.